the final event of day one of match three. Well, and so far, Roddy, we have seen the team that picks the skins be perfect at the skins. That, that's the thing is, what, kind of, what skins do you pick here? It's not clear cut. Remember that first weekend, obviously it was gonna be all about Lily King and the 50 breast, but here it's it's kind of a mixed bag. I, I, I'm not sure what skins you would pick depending on what team wins. Deloof is a key here for Current. She's just gotta keep it close to Moss because everybody else will give the Current a chance. If somehow or another she can keep it close to Moss, She's right there in lane number four, in the yellow cap, middle of the pool. Tokyo's got a good relay. Nope, right now, doubling down, LA Current. A shocker. I, I, I thought, and this is the type of format that Akali Moss is just not used to. So, you know what, maybe she's not quite there here from a racing perspective, a weekend of racing will do a lot for you. And this is a huge shock. Kali Moss did not win that first leg and Duluth did exactly what she needed to do for LA Current. That was just about perfect situation for the Current. Good start for LA Current. We saw them win the skins on the men's side with Ryan Murphy, lane number four. Anastasia Gorbenko right now swimming the breaststroke leg, holding off the rest of the field at the moment. Gorbanko. They still have Gastadello and Weitzel still to swim. Yeah, Gorbenko, by the way, was 104.9, Bernie, on the first weekend's relay, which was really quick. One of the fastest times of the weekend. I think it was a top three time. But you can see Wog up there just starting to make a little bit of move. Great back half, great 200 swimmer, so you know she is not going to get tired. And Tara Muba moving into contention at the bottom for the Frog Kings. But it looks like Gorbenko is going to carry the lead halfway through. Gastadello now diving in. 104.7 for Gorbenko. And Teramura was 104.3. That's one big reason why they were able to get back into it. Wog, by the way, 104.9. So three teams still right in the thick of things. Hassan swimming for Toronto. Castadello. Let's see what the lead is. Only three tenths. Well, here's the big change here in this relay. Coach Marsh led off with Gastadello the first weekend. He said, let's let's change things up a little bit. Let's put the loof in there, and I'm going to anchor with you, Gastadello. You can do a lot for us. But wow, look at Hanson go. The winner of the Hunter Fly just went right by Gastadello. Look at this. LA, Toronto, Tokyo, all in the mix. 100 meters to go in only six tenths of a second, separating first and third. Abby Weitzel in the lead for LA. 56-4 for Hansen, put them right back in it. 56-7 for Gastadello. Michelle Coleman trying to track her down for Toronto. Tokyo has faded. Abby Weitzel in the lead. Let's see by how much. Still six tenths. Can Coleman track her down? Weitzel has been in this situation so many times in her collegiate career. Time after time. By the way, she 52-3 on her split on the 400 free relay. 51-6 for Coleman. Here she comes. Here comes Coleman. Toronto trying to do it. Can Abby Weitzel hold her off? It will be LA. They will pick the skins. 18 points for the win. Great exchange. 51-6 on the end. Fastest 100 freestyle of the day. And with a win, LA Curran, 28 points. They outscored Tokyo by six points. And now their lead is 12.